Well, the next thing that I want to teach you is the Arkansas Traveler. And that's originally a fiddle tune. It's a good banjo tune, too, and it makes a good guitar tune. And the fiddle plays it in the key of D, and so do I. You use a lot of open strings on it. I like how they ring. I've introduced one new technique in the Arkansas Traveler, and actually we used it a little bit, just a little bit in one of the earlier tunes, and that's the downward glide. Take a look at my right hand. It shows up in the second part. Watch how it goes from the second string to the first string. We'll get to that soon, and uh, I'll call your attention to it again. So we'll start the Arkansas Traveler from the beginning. It starts on open string. And then the next main note is at the second fret of the, uh, the fifth string. I often just bring my thumb over rather than bring my index finger over. I'll do it either way. Or, and I'm playing rhythm with my right hand. Okay, then look at the right hand, I've got my thumb over the bass string at the second fret to make a low rumbly D chord. Well, that whole first line is entirely out of D position. Okay, the next line, I make a bar kind of A. First two lines. Line three is the same as line one. Up to speed, the first three lines sound like this. That leaves us one more line to play for part one. And it goes like this. And I start that A note before the beat. Dum de dee ding de dee de dee de dum bum da da dum. Watch my fingers again. Dum de dee ding de dee de dee de dee de dum da. Of course, we have to hold the A a little longer. Part 
two. Again. Those long notes, I generally play all down. But I could reverse. They sound a little weaker that way. It's up to you. Now, here comes the glide. Slowly. And we can play the same first line we did from part one. Or we can do this lick I really like of staying on the D for a long time. the right hand out sounds good at high speed Split the screen and play the Arkansas Traveler at a moderate pace. <laughs> 